Hello friends welcome back on SSB Rocks in this video we will covers nuclear suppliers group NSG and its importance for India the knowledge of this topic will help you in your lecturet and group discussion If you want detailed information on any subject or topic in the form of knowledgeable video like this feel free to contact us or just mention the topic in the comment box below For more practice subscribe SSB Rocks and don't forget to like share and recommend SSB Rocks to your friends and don't forget to hit bell icon to get the notification of the next knowledgeable video so friends let get started introduction nuclear non proliferation treaty npt was signed in 1968 to prevent spread of nuclear materials technology and weapons so as to develop cooperation among the nations This treaty was signed by a total of 191 countries except India, South Sudan, Israel and Pakistan. The treaty recognized two groups of countries namely the nuclear weapon states and WS comprising US, UK, China, France and Russia and the other being non-nuclear weapon states and NWS. According to this treaty Nuclear weapon states and WS member countries had to commit for the complete nuclear disarmament non-nuclear weapon states agreed to let go the developing or acquiring of nuclear weapons reasons for India and other countries did not sign the nuclear weapon states India and the rest of the countries didn't sign this as they must dismantle all nuclear weapons and place them under international safeguards to become a NWS member Indian foreign policy was against us keeping in mind security concerns for dismantling all our nuclear weapons will makes us more vulnerable if any and to what thing happens in the future Let's discuss the purpose of the treaty NSG is a multinational body concerned with reducing nuclear proliferation by controlling the export and retransfer of materials that may be used for development of nuclear weapons Nuclear Suppliers Group also sets global rules for international trade in nuclear energy technology. It was set up in 1974 as a reaction to India's first successful nuclear tests at Pokhran Code named Smiling Buddha conducted on the 18th of May 1974 to stop so-called misuse of nuclear material meant for peaceful purposes. Friends this is for your information that the number of members of Nuclear Suppliers Group is 48. Now a question arises that why is India seeking to become a member of NSG? 1. India wants to become a player in this international arena where nuclear commerce norms are laid. 2. If India becomes a member it will have better international market for export as well as for import of nuclear related materials. 3. For building nuclear reactors for providing energy we need nuclear materials. By becoming a member of Nuclear Suppliers Group we can have better access of nuclear materials. 4. All nuclear based programs of India is being run on indigenous technology. By becoming a member of Nuclear Suppliers Group we will have access to your sophisticated foreign technologies. 5. By becoming a member India can also sell its indigenous technology thereby giving make in India a facelift. 6. Clean energy India is committed to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels and scale up nuclear power production Now let's discuss why are certain countries opposing or supporting India's entry into nuclear suppliers group India has been trying to get into nuclear suppliers group since 2008 While India is being backed by United States, Switzerland and Mexico for its membership of Nuclear Suppliers Group due to commendable efforts by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, it is being opposed by China, New Zealand, South Africa and Pakistan. Bases of China, New Zealand, South Africa and Pakistan's opposition. A country which is a non-signatory of NPT CTBT excreta shouldn't be given a Nuclear Suppliers Group membership. China is putting forward their arguments on the basis that if India is to be granted a seat in nuclear suppliers group then all other south asian countries like pakistan which were non signatory of npt should be granted a seat too meanwhile pakistan is opposing india's entry merely because it doesn't want india to possess high end technologies in the nuclear field and pakistan also fears that if india becomes a member it could prevent it from becoming a member just like how china is currently down voting india friends let's focus on why india deserves nuclear suppliers group membership 
India has established itself as a responsible nuclear state, a, declared a voluntary moratorium on further underground nuclear tests, b, effectively acting in sense the spirit of NPT, CTBT, c, only as a minimum deterrence and pledging NFU, no first use, d, unless faced with an attack of weapons of mass destruction. 2. India's nuclear doctrine is unique. a. It is non-offensive, non-proliferative and only for deterrence. b. Prepared to accept full-scale IAEA safeguards. c. Already acquired high-level expertise in the peaceful use of nuclear energy in industry, power, agriculture and healthcare. d. India's membership shall not only benefit it but also encourage civil nuclear trade. Globally without compromising on world peace and harmony. Way ahead. 1. India may have one more chance to persuade China to give up its opposition to India's candidature. 2. Can talk with China for NSG membership. As China is seeking membership of MTCR of which India is now a member of. 3. India can have a better face to get permanent membership of United Nations Security Council. Thanks for watching this video and for more practice of other aspects of SSB subscribe SSB rocks. Friends you can join us on our telegram and whatsapp group as link given in description below. You can also join our facebook group for group discussion and get free study material for SSB the link of the same is also given in description below. All the best SSB rocks.